TA Tech Tip is intended to introduce a typical test setup and data analysis method for the Time Temperature Superposition Principle, or TTS, using the TRIOS software and ARIES G2 rheometer. Now let's go through a typical test setup and analysis using the TRIOS software. First, we want to enter the sample information and choose the file path for the data. Next, we want to go to the Geometry Manager and choose the appropriate geometry. Once that's chosen, ensure that the compliance values and geometry inertia constants are entered for your geometry. Now we move to the Procedure tab. For a TTS experiment, the first step would be under Conditioning Options. Set the appropriate axial force for your application. For parallel plates, choose Compression. For torsion rectangular samples, choose Tension. Set the appropriate axial force and sensitivity, and choose your data priority. Next, for the auto strain adjustment, set the appropriate auto strain controls for your material to be tested. Last but not least, we set up an oscillation temperature sweep. Enter all the necessary inputs, starting temperature, soak time, ending temperature, and temperature increment. Choose the appropriate strain in the linear viscoelastic region and the frequency sweep range you want to measure the sample for each temperature. Once the TTS experiment is completed, you can create an overlay plot of all the frequency sweeps at each temperature. Simply highlight all the frequency sweeps and drag them into the graph and this will create an overlay plot of modulus versus frequency. Now we're ready to start our TTS analysis. From the TTS menu, click on Start. Now we can choose the name for our TTS session. Once the name is set, now we go back to the TTS menu and set a reference temperature for your data set. I'm going to choose 190. Next step is shifting the curves around that reference temperature of 190. As you can see, now the TRIO software has created a shifted data set. What we can now do is fit this data to the WLF equation in the analysis. Once you fit the shifted curve to the WLF model, you could then go back to the overlay plot and you could manually shift the curves as necessary. I'm going to grab this data file just to demonstrate that you could manually move the curves as necessary to fit the shifted data to the WLF model as, as needed. Now, once the data is shifted and you're satisfied, you can create a master curve. Go back to the TTS menu and click on the master curve icon. We have now created a master curve at the reference temperature of 190 degrees C and we've created a plot of G prime storage modulus, G double prime loss modulus as a function of frequency over a very wide frequency and time scale.